Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and I've got a new face on my channel today. This is Kaylee. Today I've got her in my two signature looks, a very natural no makeup look, as well as a smoky eye. I hope you all enjoy. I'm starting today's look off with a little bit of a soothing green primer. This is from Laura Geller. This is going to help to calm the redness in the skin, as well as hydrate and prep for makeup. For foundation, I'm actually using a mix of products to give the skin the exact finish I'm going for. I'm using Tante Dole Ultra from Lancome for the long wear and the coverage, mixed with a little bit of the Anami primer, which is illuminating, and it's going to sheer out the foundation a little bit so it looks much more like realistic skin. And of course, I'm blending that in with a sponge dampened with a little bit of hydrating toner. I'm also building this up where I need a little bit of extra coverage and then moving right onto concealer and again I'm using an Anami product. This is the under eye concealer and I'm just tapping that right under the eyes and then again of course using my damp sponge to make sure that's nice and blended out. And then I'm going to set the concealing into place with my Cargo HD Illuminating Palette. I'm using the shade on the far left which is more or less a illuminating setting powder and I'm just going to take that under the eye and through the center of the face. And then I'm moving to the bronzier shade on the right and I'm just going to hit that around the perimeters of the face for a little bit of color and shaping but nothing too intense. Keeping the brows ultra natural, I'm just going in with a tiny bit of pencil on any gaps and just evening out the brows. I want this to look like little individual hairs and not like an overdrawn or overly filled in brow. And then to make sure that's all set in place and the brows look ultra fluffy, I'm just going in with a little bit of clear gel to brush the brows up and out. After curling the lashes, I'm using a very thin coat of dark brown mascara and I'm making sure that the lashes are nice and separated and there's no clumps at all. And of course I'm going to put a little coat on the lower lashes as well. I'm using a little bit of a nude liner. This is Ulta brand in the color Flesh and I'm just shaping the lips a little bit and going right over top of them to give them a little wash of color and then I'm tapping a little bit of lip balm over them and then I kind of wanted to soften it a little bit so I used a q-tip and that is the first no makeup makeup look. I think she looks gorgeous and stunning, very easy to wear um, and it just lets your natural beauty shine through. And now on to look to the smoky eye. I'm starting out with a cream base as I like to do for smoky eyes. This one has got a little bit of a bronzy tint to it. This is of course my Mali pencil in the shade Saddle Shimmer which does not exist anymore. And I'm blending that in with a MAC 217 just to make sure the edges are nice and soft. I'm taking that across the lower lash line as well and then I'm going to blend that in with the same exact brush. The shadows I'm working with are my favorite shadows for smoky eyes ever. This is the Lancome Chocolate Amand palette and I'm starting with the lighter tone and applying that right through the crease and going in with something a little bit deeper on the outer corner and sweeping that across towards the center of the eye. Then I'm going to be taking the lighter shade and just blending out the edge with that and sort of using that as the under brow highlight as well. I'm also taking a touch of that highlight just on the center of the eyelid above where the pupil would be. Moving on to liner, this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner and this is the most amazing liner for tight lining. It goes on super creamy and you can blend it really, really, really well. Um, so I'm taking that across the upper lash line as well and I'm going to blend that out with an angled brush which gives the eye that ultra smoky effect. And then of course because I want that to wear all night, I'm applying a little bit of the black shade from the palette on top just to further blend and set. Taking that same liner through the waterline on both eyes and then I'm going to be going in with my angle brush again in the black shadow but this time mixed with a tiny bit of the darker gray from the lid and just smudging out the lower lash line. I don't want to blow this out too far but I do want to soften. To finish off the eyes I'm going in with a couple of coats of a very thickening dark black mascara upper and lower. 
And then I'm going to give one final blend underneath with a clean Q-tip. For lips, I'm just pressing over top of what's already there with a little bit of a matte nude. This is from Maybelline. And again, I'm going to tap over with my finger just to make sure it's nice, blended, and soft. I'm adding a bit of highlight with the highlight shade from the eyeshadow palette, taking that on the cheeks and down the center of the nose. And then, of course, I couldn't resist a little bit of bronzer, so I, I'm going in with a slightly darker shade of bronzer than before and adding that all around the perimeters of the face and down onto the neck. And that is the finished look number two, a perfect sultry smoky eye. I love both of these looks so much. I hope that you all enjoyed them. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about the products that I used or any requests for future videos. And then check out the description box as well because every product that I used today is going to be linked down there for your convenience. As well as links to my social media. I'm at JohnJohnTalks on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Click on the right hand side of the screen now to be subscribed to my channel. And then make sure you check out the playlist I've got linked on the left. And I will see you all next time. Bye!